I'll wait. But how can the people of India be forced to take that kind of risk? Mr. Subramaniam. Arnab, if you recall, 17B is under challenge in the Supreme Court right now in appeal. Yes. The two conditions of 1500 crore limit and the five year limit are absurd and irresponsible because the damage can go on for 20 years, as we have seen in Fukushima and elsewhere. So, it is, now to dilute that, you recall that we pushed through FDI in retail, conditions were mentioned in the parliament. Within three months, they were diluted. This is the kind of respect being given to the parliament of the country which is being treated. Even in dictatorship, this will not happen. So clearly, I saw today the representative of Westinghouse saying, we are not willing to enter if 17B is there. Yes. We should make a statement today that 17B is our law. We cannot talk to you with, without that. Secondly, for the first time I am hearing in... I have handled 200 projects of all sorts that the, uh, the, that the viability report is to be prepared by the contractor himself and it will come at the time of a final agreement to be signed. These are brand new things I am learning. Somebody said what has happened <coughs> new. We already had an absurd situation. We are having two more new absurd situations. No, you see what's happening here is simple. I just want to explain once again to our viewers. It's very simple. Dear viewers, if you are watching tonight, what are we talking about? When the nuclear deal was passed in 2005, it was said, we look at the liability aspect. In 2010, there was a liability law which was passed in Parliament. Now, as per, that, as per that liability law, there were certain safeguards which were to be got. There were certain compulsions, some responsibilities on these American companies. <coughs> the law remains, but the, but the application of the law, the rules, the law is there, but the rules are being changed, Absolutely. framed to belie the intent of the law. And essentially, therefore, defeat the purpose. The rules are being framed to belie the intent of the law, which I think in simple English is trying to do something through the back door. So Sanjay Jha and Kumar Ketkar. Let's go to Sanjay Jha first because I said I'll go to him. You know, can you, your government is angry today and is saying that Times Now is getting ahead of itself because it's upset that this has all been caught red-handed. The Hindu reported about liability, Times Now reported about viability, Times Now put out the Cabinet Committee on Security note, showed that the Atomic Energy Commission is being bypassed. Your government is essentially angry today, Sanjay Jha, because it's been caught red-handed in trying to do something through the back door to please the Americans next week. <laughs> it, it boils not. down to that. Absolutely not. Of course. Emphatically. I emphatically well, tell people you that will it's see through wrong. It. It's inappropriate, whatever allegations you're making. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. And let's put this in context because we are having a very sliced debate here. It was the initiative of our UPA government that brought about these very stringent, strict laws on safety, which today the international community says is very unique to India. So credit the UPA government about worrying about the security. It was passed by Parliament, not the UPA government. Okay, here, yeah. Try to make a lot of brownie points. Well, I, I, no, no, one second. But we. Let me tell you, we stake, we stake the government on this and we know which members... No, you are wrong, because, no, when you are wrong, no, no, when you are wrong, when Salman Khurshid, no, I must stand to no, correct no, it, anyway. when Salman Khurshid was asked that on this whole question okay. of whether India is open to the suggestion that Parliament should take a relook of the law, he said, and I quote, this is in December 2012, he said, you will really be inviting trouble to take it back to Parliament. I think sometimes it is best to, uh, to let something work without reopening a Pandora's box. This is the quote of your foreign minister, All so right. you stand corrected two, once again, Sanjay. Point number two. You stand corrected Point on number that. Two, yes. Arnab, what the historic, let me tell you, the historic, I know I don't think so, but we'll debate it some other point. It was a historic legislation. It was a historic legislation that end of day, uh, India as a country that had not signed the NBT <coughs> or the CTBT. And we still managed to we are get not discussing. We are not discussing the nuclear deal tonight. Right now, one minute, one minute. We, we, one minute. We, we got access to fuel, to technology. Oh, we are not discussing the nuclear deal the tonight, Sanjay. We are talking about, we are so talking about you, backdoor these are procedures. These the positives that have happened. No. We are talking about, about doing things to the backdoor. This is about energy security. You are getting a rebut. Let's move debate. on. In this no, I am answering your second Raman. question. I am answering your second question, Arnav. You need to answer. Dr. Gopalakrishnan. You need to Gopalakrishnan. accept this. From Tiruvannantamuram, Dr. Gopalakrishnan. Nothing is being done which is not being put in the public domain. If you take an opinion from the Attorney General, you are not bound by it. You are getting a challenge from Tiruvannantamuram. Since at the moment the government 
government may be negotiating with many nuclear contractors and suppliers, Yo. it has got a right to seek an opinion from the Attorney General. Oh. It is not bound by oh. it. Which, which and you cannot belies, assume which that the, therefore it is something which will be lead <laughs> which, to a which, deal with which, Westinghouse. Which, which, now, I think there's being a very presumptuous Now, now one second, you must here. complete because I won't get the others in. You, you can make a change, you can seek the opinion, you cannot belie I'm the done. intent of what was promised in Parliament. Sanjay Jha, you're getting a rebut. First from Nirmala Sitaraman, the political rebut. Yes, Nirmala Sitaraman. Go ahead. One. Yes. Just let me remind the Sanjeja who is in a hurry to take the credit for this whole thing. Mr. Jaitley, who is the leader of the opposition in Raj Sabha, spent time and time again with the government in ensuring that this Section 17B will be brought in for ensuring liability which otherwise was not contemplated by this government. If you all remember, if all of us recollect, even that night, overnight, some kind of an amendment was brought in to dilute it, a word and was added or deleted. Early morning, this was brought to the light of the, you know, all political parties. And after which, the government had to go and correct it all over again. Okay, let's... So from then itself, it was obvious that they were tinkering it till the last minute. So let us not forget the role of the opposition, which insisted on... <coughs> Second rebut, and also Dr. A. Gopalakrishnan from Tiruvananthapuram is rebutting well, Sanjay Jhana. Dr. Dr. Gopalakrishnan. Let us forget the role. Dr. Gopalakrishnan. Yes, Mr. what Mr. Jha said about historic uh, uh, deal, etc., is totally uh, hogwash. I think uh, basically uh, the Prime Minister promised a great deal of things during the debate in the Parliament at various stages, none of which came to He, For one major thing is he, he told the Indian Parliament that we, through this deal we will get the technologies for enrichment and reprocessing. Both of them finally did not come, even though right from the beginning, I am quite sure that the Prime Minister was aware that this is not going to come. It was a uh, somewhat of a white lie that was said to the Parliament, and later on, now we are in a situation where we can never get them because uh, we are told that unless we sign the NPT, these technologies will not come your way. Uh, what did we get? We, we got some uranium, but later on we found that we have plenty of natural uranium in this country. And what they succeeded in doing is to get a letter from our Prime Minister, which Mr. Shivashankar Menon uh, signed and sent, which promised uh, a minimum of 10,000 megawatt of American reactors to be purchased. And today we are um, suffering from that act of this Prime Minister, and he is going there to deliver... The and one first, uh, and one written, and one American uh, company. What? Who benefits at the end of it? Uh, no, no, doc, Doctor Doctor Balachandran. You know, I can see that you're getting restless there as you listen to this debate. Our only question is this: very simply, this. Why is all this being done? One American company to satisfy and please one American company. Now, Salman Khurshid said in December, Mr. Balachandran. He said we can't change our law as some global companies begin to invest and do business with us, I'm sure others will fall in line. So he said businesses will fall in line because they want to operate in India. Today, Dr. Balachandran, the government of India falls in line <coughs> and more than in line just to please one American company. What an irony, isn't it? Do you want me to answer that or not? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Let me tell you one thing. It is not one country. You, France, we have signed an agreement with Russia. We promised them for Kulaban 3 and 4, which they were ready to ship, that we will give an exemption. <coughs> we didn't do it. They have not shipped it. So Russia is not signing an agreement for any more reactors with India. Yeah. You are talking about France, right? France, all talk, hogwash, they have not signed anything. United States has not signed anything. And so? from what I understand, unless somebody, somebody here knows more than me, the Indian industry is not willing to now enter into any long-term contract with NPCL as well. So with no foreign reactor and no Indian producer of indigenous reactor, so? unless one of the panelists starts a company, there won't be any more reactors <laughs> in India. Oh, so we'll, That's all right. Will Mr. country come to wait, a stand? Wait, wait, please. Mr. Subramaniam would be very happy because come he doesn't on, like nuclear on. power at all. 
<laughs> who mr subramanian so the others if they say that is their fit no no mr subramanian is not making that point I, mr subramanian is making another point and and by the way mr balachandran why aren't you concerned about whether if tomorrow god forbid if there is a problem the cost for that will have to be borne by the taxpayer if the supplier is not held liable i thought that the whole country was told in 2005 right. we will hold no no one minute yes. we, the country was told in 2005 the supplier will be held liable and we believed it today you, you are saying sorry if they don't want to do business it. with you change the rules hold the taxpayer liable you, mr subramanian i want you to come in if What's you read the, okay arnab 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 i have only one point to make here uh, i don't intend starting an atomic energy company <laughs> i believe that in india our current atomic energy is 2% of our energy 98% we have got the largest coal reserves in the world 98% comes from other sources we have the largest amount of dr balachandran fields we can well dr balachandran fields will come to a stand i think we are um, i think um, i think only the tail is wagging the dog we are making much too much we are doing dr balachandran response of three or four companies in the world i don't intend starting i may start a solar company i may i may start a thermal company i may start a water company uh, uh, air, uh, air would you like to respond dr balachandran but not nuclear company would you like to respond dr balachandran let's get but dr balachandran would you like to respond yes respond to what <laughs> that is not going to start a nuclear my Let's point is this <laughs> do you think there is a future for indian nuclear power that's all i'm asking can any no, of the no. panelists say that he says no yes if we no. it's a different government it's which which supports if if you if you go back to the baba baba uh, plan not on and these terms. line of thinking not on these terms. there is uh, a future for nuclear power but what not the, on these terms no, uh, the terms are coming only because you are inviting all kinds of foreigners to come and uh, <laughs> build reactors here i i i i i just have a more political point now no my point is political you see what has happened is today this is what a source told me and i'm <laughs> revealing what sources are saying but mr raja coming to you you know what a source said they said oh my god you had to put out this story so we'll have to call a meeting of the atomic energy commission and i asked the source so you know you what do you mean call a meeting of the atomic energy commission to do what he said you know to obviously get the clearance and i said what clearance you don't have a viability report he said we'll see dekhte hain kya karte hain you know this is the casual approach my, my concern mr kumar ketkar is the casual approach with which all of these processes are being followed i don't think it is a yeah, casual it's a fairly casual, casual approach, approach. No, i don't think it's a ca casual approach at all fundamentally npcil and operator and transporters and others responsibility has not changed the relationship has <coughs> not changed the clauses remain same no But no no it's changed. it's changed it's changed not changed it's changed that relationship have changed is it's your inference no it's not my inference. that relationship have changed entirely because uh, no it's not my inference entirely because prime minister wants to cross no, before no. american government no, it's or not. american company it's not my inference. also an inference it's not an inference as bajan said no. no other country russia france nobody was ready to sign no indian company was ready to come you have to have a deal pursued i think it is in continuation all that has happened sir, is in, sir, all that is, has happened sir, is in continuation the so called revelation no, no. and all kind of melodramatic breast beating about the nuclear power will no, not this is not melodramatic breast beating and I, i take objection to your adjectives about this being speculation because i'm not, I'm not saying you are doing it no no i'm saying to you because i'm talking about those who are completely from the beginning sir, that opposed, one, to one, power, opposed to nuclear power nirmala opposed to nuclear power are bringing in all these no, extraneous no, issues nirmala sitaraman opposing nuclear power in itself is a different it, 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 no, 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 watch it, watch it. we are Why? today discussing I'll, I'll about the cabinet committee's changes and 17b we are Not limited. We are only yes. the limited point. One, one minute, but Sanjay, just one minute. Let me first disprove prove why Kumar Ketkar is wrong. Is Kumar Ketkar is wrong because Kum why why are Kumar Ketkar and Sanjay Jha wrong? Uh, Nirmala Sitaraman, you want to come in first? Go ahead, Nirmala okay, Sitaraman. You go ahead. Nirmala Sitaraman. Yes, please. I think I just Adnan. want to say this because it is important now that so much of information has come to the public domain. and there are anxieties about nuclear power we from bjp think that the government will be doing the entire nation a service and i think they they are <coughs> expected to do it because they are the government of the day to dispel all the kind of doubts which have come out in the minds of the people they issue a clear statement as to what exactly have they done 
Have they no. bypassed? Have they removed any checks and balances S which are there in the act? And make sure that they no, no. Come Nir Nirmala Sitaraman, Nir Nirmala Sitaraman, Nir Nirmala Sitaraman. Can you tell me? Tell me yes. between now and when the prime minister is in America, is it possible that the viability report will come?